I'm Darren Marlar from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Police in Pensacola, Florida, arrested 52-year-old Charles William Rollerson recently after getting a call about a naked man in a car wash parking lot. Officers reported seeing Rollerson standing around without pants while music blared from his vehicle. When deputies asked Rollerson to put his clothes on, he replied, "...they took off running by themselves without me." Oh, well, okay then, um, carry on. McDonald's is going to start allowing you to pre-order and pick up using your phone. Because obviously, spending 60 seconds in the drive-thru is just not acceptable. It now looks as if Melania Trump, who was staying behind in New York to let 10-year-old Barron finish out the school year there, may not move to Washington at all now. You know, I can't say that I blame her for that. I mean, she would risk a black eye just standing in the same room with Donald, with all those jabs being thrown his way. The Kardashians are in Costa Rica on vacation. One question, vacation from what? New research shows that an unexplained force is pushing our entire galaxy across the universe. But to be honest, who wouldn't want to rid the neighborhood of humans? Amazon is going to pay Robert De Niro $850,000 per episode to appear in a new TV series next fall. That is insane! Now, seriously, Amazon? $850,000 per episode? I'll do it for half that. Give me a call! <laughs> President Trump kicked off Black History Month Wednesday, saying Frederick Douglass is an example of somebody who's done an amazing job and is being recognized more and more, I notice. Of course, those exact same words could also apply to Beyonce, Ben Affleck, the entire cast of Stranger Things. Uh, kind of a generic comment there, Donnie. Do you even know who Frederick Douglass is? I'm, I'm guessing no. Not to give you one more thing to worry about, but, well, the nation's bacon reserves are at the lowest levels in half a century. One word comes to mind. Next time you get the notion to try and outrun the police, they might just lasso your car. There's a new invention called the Grappler, and from what I can tell, it's basically a lasso, but for cars instead of cows. It's made of a strong nylon net which shoots out from the police car's bumper and wraps around the wheel of the car being chased, tethering them and preventing them from being able to speed off. After getting grappled, well, the car slows down and the chase comes to an abrupt end, allowing the suspect to be arrested. So far, the device is not in use by any police force, but inventor Leonard Stock from the Arizona startup company Police Bumper is hoping it soon will be after eight years of testing and development. Why go roping Mustangs when you could be roping Mustangs? If Democrats in the Senate create problems for President Trump's Supreme Court nominee getting confirmed, Trump is encouraging Mitch McConnell to use the nuclear option. Upon hearing the words Trump and nuclear in the same sentence, liberals once again began rioting. In Australia, police say they got a call from a woman who asked if they could investigate because she thought her pot dealer was ripping her off. Do understand that pot is not legal in Australia's Northern Territory, and she quickly hung up when police asked for her personal details. Officers obviously found the call hilarious and later posted on Facebook, if you know a drug dealer who's ripping you off, give us a call. We'd love to help. The Democracy Index has downgraded the United States from a full democracy to a flawed one, marking the first time the nation has fallen into the lower ranking. Other flawed democracies include Botswana, India, Japan, and Ghana, while much of Western Europe stayed in the full democracy category. So let's get to work making America as great as Botswana again! With the Super Bowl coming up this weekend, a study by a consulting firm finds that America loses productivity in the days leading up to Super Sunday. Lost wages work out to about $16 million per minute due to activities such as workers chatting about the game, engaging in party planning, organizing betting pools, and doing research on big-screen TVs. Now, I'm going to take a wild guess and say Super Bowl Monday is also the number one day of the year people call in sick with the flu. 
Watch the YouTube version of the Daily Dose of Weird News and also get more weird news at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. If you like what you just heard, please give this video a thumbs up and share the episode with others on your own social media to help spread the weirdness. Become a part of the Weirdo family by clicking that subscribe button, and be sure to also click that little bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. For Marlar House and DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar. <laughs>